Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by our friends at Fusilokia of Cape Coral. This morning we'll tell you about the Florida Republican leaders meeting in Orlando, Oprah dominating the Golden Globes with her Me Too speech, and more. Today is Monday, January 8th, and this is the Morning Report. Florida Republican leaders Saturday talked about the need to drown out media chatter amid predictions of Democratic gains in this year's midterm elections and attacks on the GOP's unconventional president. Gathered for an annual meeting in Orlando, U.S. Senator Marco Rubio told members of the Republican Party of Florida to stick with the game plan of policy and tax reform and judicial appointments pushed by President Trump. Saturday's meeting also came on the heels of U.S. Representative Ron DeSantis, a Republican from Palm Coast, vowing to drain the swamp in town. Tallahassee, as he formally jumped into the gubernatorial contest on Friday. Scott, meanwhile, is widely expected to challenge Democratic Senator Bill Nelson for the U.S. Senate seat, though he has not declared his candidacy. Scott was not in attendance at the party meeting. A schedule released by the governor's office had him in Hollywood on Saturday afternoon to attend services for Broward County Sheriff's Deputy Michael David Ryan, who died on December 31st after collapsing outside a jail. For more about the meeting, you can read the full article online. Two major Apple investors have urged the iPhone maker to take action to curb growing smartphone addiction among children, highlighting growing concern about the effects of gadgets and social media on the young users. A New York-based Jana Partners LLC and California State Teachers Retirement System said Monday in an open letter to Apple that the company must offer more choices and tools to help children fight addiction to its devices. The two investors collectively control $2 billion worth of Apple shares. Among their proposals to Apple are to establish an expert committee including child development specialists, offer Apple's vast information to researchers, and enhance mobile device software so that parents can have more options to protect their children's health. The letter cited various studies and surveys on how the heavy usage of smartphones and social media negatively affects children's mental and physical health. While tech companies have not acknowledged openly that their gadgets may be addictive, some Silicon Valley insiders have begun to speak to media about how gadgets, mobile applications, and social media sites are designed to be addictive and to keep users' attention as long as possible. With a red carpet dyed black by actresses dressed in a color-coordinated statement, the Golden Globes were transformed into an A-list expression of female empowerment in the post-Harvey Weinstein era, with Oprah Winfrey leading the charge that night. More than any award handed out on Sunday in Beverly Hills, California, Winfrey's speech, which was greeted by a rousing ongoing standing ovation, encapsulated the Me Too mood at an atypically powerful Golden Globes. The night, usually reserved for more carefree partying, served as Hollywood's fullest response yet to the sexual harassment harassment scandals that have roiled the film industry and laid bare its gender inequalities. The movie that many believe speaks most directly to the current moment, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, about a mother avenging the rape and murder of her daughter, emerged as the night's top film. It won Best Picture, Best Actress, Best Supporting Actor, and Best Screenplay. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Bree Walling. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.